so we're just going to do a quick little video on um, some hanging pots hanging off your fence we've got a bland section of fence and we've picked up a couple of uh, these metal pots and a couple of these bush gems kangaroo paws and I'm going to show you how to Getting really, really pretty up a bland bit of fence. These are just light little tins. Now we've put a few holes in the bottom again. You can just put your pots directly in and put some stones in and just leave it as it is. But uh, these pots, as they came, really were uh, pretty full already. Like the root was pretty full in there, so they need to be repotted up so they've got room to grow and expand. And also hanging on a fence, you want a good body of soil there uh, so it doesn't dry out too much. So we've just knocked a few holes in the bottom and uh, now we're just going to tip in some cutting mix and get this second one going. So for this particular plant, which is the kangaroo paw, the bush plant, we are just using the dynamic lifter potting plant, potting mix. So we have a beautiful Australian native kangaroo paw. It's a gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous plant. Brilliant for hot sun, uh, full sun positions. We're just going to pop it in this planter here. Just got some uh, potting mix. And we pop, popped into this planter. Pull it out and, you know, as with always, to give it the roots a bit of a tease. You can see they're a little bit popped pot bound and they're going to love this space. This fellow here uh, goes up to about 40 centimeters um, in height. Uh, some kangaroo paws can be you know a good meter over over that. Uh, I've deliberately chosen a smaller one because of what it's going into and um, the idea is to pop this onto a very very bland standard suburban fence and just to break its outlook and um, create some beauty. So we've planted it in. We're gonna add a little bit of sea salt to it. Brilliant uh, ingredients, just basically seaweed, liquid seaweed. Um, excellent for helping plants in that um, transplant journey and um, gives them a good boost. Also has some agents in it which uh, the sea salt that is, which helps it retain the moisture. So we give it a liberal watering and a bit of love. <clears throat> there we go. There's your kangaroo, kangaroo paw in a planter. Ready to go. So we're just going to use uh, butcher's hooks. Uh, these you can get in home stores and things like that. Uh, because this is just a great way to hang the pots from the fence. So what we're going to do is uh, just hook the butcher's hook over the back there and then pull it down. And look at that, you've got yourself a wonderful pot hanger. We were considering hanging it from the top rail up here, but uh, these plants would be too tall. And if you wanted to create a bit of a blockage, you could do that. Go. This is um, quite an expanse of um, fence out here, up to the clothesline, and it just really needed to be broken up. Uh, out here and there's a window it's another one of the key windows from the house um, it's a lounge room but also looking through from the kitchen so uh, it'll mean that rather than just look at a bland fence we've got something pretty to look at so you can adjust the height and move them along but you see with the S hooks uh, they're just sitting over that rail hanging on and then hooking the pots up so you can change your height move them around and just get it to a way that works for you but in order to get it pretty you want to work at getting things straight and um, they're going to look great, particularly as those flowers open up a little bit more. 